Welcome guys to this first ever video for 207 RC Crawl and Test. On the table today we have the Enjora All-Star Hobby Bully Comp Tires 2.2s. Got them fully broken down. I bought the full set that comes with the beadlock rims. Came in at just under $40. I think it was $39.99. So far, on the table, great bargain. Let's break it down for you guys. I've already looked at them. They've been out of the box for, out of the package for a couple hours. I've had my chance to give them one over. Look at how soft they are. Like, wow. Can you see that grip? That grip is crazy. The tread on there, amazing. Nice and soft. If we give it the sniff test, it smells like a real tire. Like. Some you'd slap on your car. Let's give you a look at the foams as well. Kind of a little bit stiff, but you need that with no sidewall, or else your side hills are gonna be horrible. Comes with a three piece B lock, six screws to assemble it, and a tiny little centering uh, coupler for your axles. If you have thicker axles, you don't need this. If you got thinner axles, slap that on there. It'll center it. Dead nuts. <clears throat> so, let's give you a quick rundown on exactly how they're going to be going in there. Let's compress this foam up. I've already got the other three mounted up. They come pre-mounted on the rims, so you don't have to do any of this. Look at that. Goes right in there. Super easy, like it was made to happen. Boom, just like that. And then you take your front, slide that in. Well, let's make sure we got the tread facing the correct direction. Yes, because if you look, you got three and two. I prefer to have the three going forwards and the two for reverse. Just to give you a little bit more friction and uh, on the rocks. But super simple. Just goes just like this. Line up your holes. Grab a screw. Screwdriver. And goes right together like this. I'm gonna put this all together for you on video, just so in case anybody here ever needs to take them apart, they know what to do. But so far, out of the package, these are some really nice comp tires, especially for the price. $40. You get a full set of rubbers, foams, and bead locks. Like, full set of four, not two. So that's a bargain. And Amazon does free shipping. You can also buy them direct from Injora. You can, they come in two colors, the black that I have and also the yellow to match the Injora uh, chassis that comes with the yellow panels. Mine was red, but as you can see, she ain't no mo. We got six screws, put the bead lock together. Real easy to do. 12 millimeter hex. And these are 5.6 millimeter diameter, 2.2 uh, rim, and uh, 40 millimeters wide. So nice and narrow. Overall, good tires. You know, I've, I've heard several people comment on the fact that there are no side lugs on these. I personally don't like side lugs on my tires for crawling, like true rock crawling, not just trailing. If you're trailing, yeah, you know, I got a set of trail tires over here. You see that? They got the nice sidewall lugs. 
you know, that's what you want if you're on soft, loose terrain. But if you're on hard rock, frozen ground, in my opinion, you want a nice tread package like these. Gives you good bite without tearing up your terrain so you're not making, you know, digging yourself a hole. Sand, you know, nothing can really help you much with sand other than paddle tires and going slow. Oop, dropped a screw. Oop, dropped it again. You guys are getting this direct. I'm not going to edit this first video. We're going to do it like it's live. Really? It's going together really easy. I think the rim went in all together nice. Three part beadlock rim as you guys saw. Come on. It's a little tight. Getting the screws in right on the edge, but that's with every beadlock really. Except for those other ones I have. The beadlock the screws actually go on the outside of the bead. It's a true bead lock with real hardware. But they are wide, far wider than these tires. So go around, make sure they're all tight. Don't want no rubber slipping. Ooh, good. I like to go around the ring a couple times because that rubber does push it out a little bit. So, you know, ring around the rosies, make sure those, those screws are tight. Don't hurt, right? Nice and tight right there. Nice and tight right there. All right, we're good to go. Now, let's give you a little bit of side-on-side -side comparison. You know, these are, 5.2s, these are 5.6s. These are also 57 and these are 40. So, both 2.2s though. Now let's give it the quick drag test. She's, she got good drag. Good push, let's compare it. I'm pushing down, same amount of force. These have way, way, way more traction, especially on a smooth surface like this. Tomorrow I'm gonna take them out, throw them on the rocks, maybe a little bit of train testing. We got hard, hard ground right now. It's almost winter time up here in Maine. So should perform pretty good. You know, there's not a lot of mud, not a lot of loose dirt right now. So uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But so far on the bench, these tires get a big thumbs up from me. You know, they are, they're pretty freaking good for $40 budget tires off of Amazon. I mean, you can't ask for much more. 2.2 by 40 millimeter by 120, 142 millimeter. And it says right here, enjoy being a badass. Well, I guess we are tomorrow in Jora, or all-star hobby. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. You guys have a great day. Tune in tomorrow, get some live action on the rocks with these and see how they actually do. On the Injora Danchi Ridge Rock Franken Crawler. You guys have a wonderful day and peace out. Oh, like and subscribe if you like the content, sorry. I always hit it at the end.